Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, According With Day. So I am going to integrate Google Pay using Stripe and React Native Apps. So I already created a React Native, uh, simple React Native app using npx React Native init command. So let's go into the project folder. Open this command, paste it. Uh, open the project and Visual Studio Code. That's it. So let's rename the file extension. I am using JSX at the moment. So rename the core. Yeah, that's it. We are not using a uh, style sheet at the moment. Yeah. So after that, uh, let's jump into the Stripe documentation. So Stripe React Native SDK. Click on the first link. So after that, click on the Google Pay. Uh, Google Pay, and after that, copy this command. Yarn add Stripe 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 React Native. So install this SDK inside our project. Go to the terminal inside Visual Studio Code, paste the command and hit enter. It will install a uh, React Native, Stripe React Native SDK. That, done. So that's it. So after that, we have to enable uh, a Google Pay inside our Android part, Android native part. So for this, we have to go to the Android manifest.xml file. Uh, so copy this code, uh, go inside the folder, inside Android app, source main, Android manifest.xml file and paste the code here. Done. So this part is done now. So let's go to the documentation and copy the dummy code. Copy this dummy code inside our project. Paste this code here. So export default app. Rename this payment screen to app. So import React from React. Done. So after that, uh, we need to we need platform pay API is already we need Stripe provider from Stripe SDK Stripe provider Stripe provider. So for we this this Stripe provider will initialize Stripe inside our project. So inside of our app, yeah, publishable key. We we have to use publishable key. We'll get this publishable key from our uh Stripe documentation. So for after that, we have to check if the uh, Stripe works on our platform, Google Pay works on this device or not. For this, we have to uh, go to the documentation, insert further, copy this code, and replace this React or use effect code with the, that code. That's it. It will check that the platform is ported or not for Google Pay. That's it, man. That's simple. So all done. So we have to rename this API URL. So go further, go up. Uh, paste the URL. So after that, we will we are using HTTP uh, ten point zero point two point two because I am calling backend server from uh, Android emulator. So we have to I have to use this path. Otherwise, it will give a uh, backend server will get network error. Uh, that's why I'm I'm using this ten point zero point two point two uh, IP address for calling backend server from Android emulator. That's done, man. So let's. Uh, check the code if the code is good now. Code is good. Rename this client secret. Client uh, secret. Uh, so our uh, backend will send this this prop this property from client secret. That's from pay. That's from pay. Done. So that's done, mate. So our front end front end code is done now. So build this front end code. Let's run Jan Android. It will uh build a app uh, and run on the android uh, emulator so after that we have to create uh, the backend server for our uh, app so for creating a backend server let's open a terminal so i'm using node.js for creating a backend server or you can use any language it's on you so open terminal terminal is already created New window, new window. We'll go on to the new window. CD desktop, uh, CD desktop player MKD. It will uh, create an empty uh, directory in on desktop and create direct native pay, pay server, pay server. The name of the project. Go into the score, CD pay server. Open the project inside Visual Studio Code. That's it. So after that, we have to install two packages. For installing packages, we first 
uh, create a package or JSON file. For creating a package or JSON file, we have to run command npm init. It will create a dummy empty package or JSON file. Yeah. So package or JSON file is like a project manager manager to manage all the dependencies inside our project. So after that, we have to install Express and Stripe SDK. So it will take a few seconds to install this SDK. So let's go go into the Express npm code and create a basic Express JS server. Copy this code. It will create a basic Express JS server and run on the port 3000. Create a file. Uh, index.js let's call it the file index.js and paste a code here and after that uh, run the console that puts api running and sort of log api api is running so our basic express js server is done now so let's jump back into the uh, stripe documentation go into the server side code and let's implement the server side code this step is already done i we already installed stripe uh, inside our project so stripe inside our project so after that uh, stripe documentation is done so what's the next step we have to create a So we have to create a uh, Stripe code for payment intent. So what's the code for payment intent? This stage. So you have to use this code for creating a payment intent. So uh, so for creating a payment intent, we have to copy this command, copy this code, and paste inside our project. Let's create a route, new route. Uh, app or post uh, so we will name it later uh, async rest rest then you try catch for error any type of error handling rest the status 505 dot send json dot uh, stringify error done so copy this code so paste the stripe above. Then after that, after that, return the status 200 dot this uh, send this payment return to the front end. That's done, mate. That's done. That's so simple. That's done. So we need a, a secret key here and publishable key uh, in React Native App. So for this, we have to go jump into the dashboard, Stripe dashboard. If you don't have a Stripe account, you have to create this Stripe account made. Otherwise, uh, this video will not help you. So after that, let's uh, uh, enable the test mode. Enable the test mode. Then go to the developers inside the API key. So click on the copy the publishable key. Uh, jump to the app code front end and paste the key here. And reveal the secret token. Copy the secret token and jump with the code uh, inside backhand and paste the code here. That's done, man. That's simple. That's done simple. So our front app backend uh, code is done now. So let's run node more start. Run the backend server. API is running. That's it. So our front end is done. So our backend is done. So let's open the app. So, so our app is running now on emulator. Let's click on Google Pay. Jason door pass. Wait, client secret await. So, what's the issue? So, so just in the pass, I think we, we did some error. We did so we, I did some of some mistakes. Let me check the code. Yeah, create payment intent. Uh, oh, this is a glitch, man. This is a glitch. I, I didn't uh, rename the route. Uh, let's, uh, the name of the route is create payment intent. So let's retest uh, test the app again. Uh, open the app again. Click on Google Pay. It will open the pop-up. Yeah, boom, man, boom. So I am using test environment. I'm running the code in test environment. So that's why your payment method won't be checked because you are in a test environment. That's it. So click on pay now. Hit enter. It will redirect the payment to the Stripe documentation. So 
dash down me so click on the balances home payment yeah you see I am using 18 February 927. That's our payment plan. So payment is successful now. Payment is successful. That's it, mate. That's it. So uh, Google Pay is uh, successfully integrated in React Native Web. That's uh, that's the uh, today task. So if you if this video helped you uh, in 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 learning, so please subscribe to this channel and share this video to others. So uh so that's it that's that's it so keep learning keep sharing and uh see you in the next video bye 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 take care bye